Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I want to introduce you to the Source Audio MIDI Adapter. It's a small, unassuming little box, but it's very useful to a lot of people. Basically, what it does is bring full MIDI capabilities to all of our smaller single foot switch one series boxes. So for example, C4 synth, full MIDI control over that, Spectrum Intelligent filter, even some of the earlier pedals like our LA Lady overdrive, all the overdrive pedals, all the modulation pedals like the Gemini Chorus. And it works with any standard MIDI controller. So for example, Tech 21 MIDI mouse is a great one. Our old pals at Disaster Area, that's a great MIDI controller to use with the MIDI adapter. Morningstar has some great stuff. And of course, our own Soul Man MIDI controller. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to connect the Neuro adapter to our pedals and to a MIDI controller. So out of the package, you're getting three different pieces. You're getting your main body of the MIDI adapter. You're getting this eighth inch TRRS cable. And you're also getting this MIDI DIN to 8th inch TRS cable. So first you want to plug the MIDI DIN to TRS cable into the MIDI IN on the adapter. And on the other side, the two pedal jack on the MIDI adapter, you want to plug in your TRRS cable. And you take the other end of the TRRS cable, plug it into the control input on the pedal. Now finally, you have the MIDI DIN end of the MIDI adapter, and that is where you're going to connect to the DIN cable from your MIDI controller. I should also add that there is a MIDI through jack on the side here. Uh, if you have more than one source audio pedal and MIDI adapter, and you want to pass along MIDI messages and control them all simultaneously. And now you're set up and you're ready to go. Okay, so the first and most obvious use of MIDI messages and our one series pedals is just scrolling through presets. So, uh, you know, with some of the earlier pedals that we released, like all our overdrive pedals or our modulation pedals, like the uh, Gemini Chorus Lunar Phaser, uh, you can use PC messages to scroll through the six toggle switch positions. But with our newer pedals, the ones we've released in the past two or three years, stuff like the Ultra Wave or the uh, Spectrum or the Atlas Compressor, you can scroll through up to 128 different presets because those have room in them to store up to 128 different presets. And it's pretty much ready to go. As soon as you plug it in, uh, the default MIDI channel is MIDI channel one. So if you just start throwing PC messages at this pedal, it will scroll through all of your presets, whatever you've programmed into the pedal. So I'm gonna bring my buddy Phil in here. He's gonna play some guitar and we are going to scroll through some presets with the C4 synth just to show you this thing in action. So yes, using MIDI PC messages to scroll through presets is a very useful application to a lot of people. But like I said before, the uh, MIDI adapter gives full MIDI capabilities to all of the one series pedals. So that means MIDI clock messages, MIDI expression control. You can also assign MIDI CC messages to specific parameters within a preset and change those parameters with just a, a click of a foot switch. So what I've done is, uh, set up a little scene here with the Spectrum Intelligent filter and our own Soul Man MIDI controller just to show you what you can do. Uh, now, keep in mind, this is just an example of what you might do. I mean, there's endless possibilities. First off, foot switch number four, I've got that set up to just engage the preset. So bypass, engage 
engaged. Over here on foot switch number one, uh, that is just going to increase the modulation rate of the filter. So we start here, speed it up. And then foot switches two and three, I have assigned to an octave down and an octave up, respectively. So first, let's bring in the octave down. And now let's add the octave up. Again, I can increase the rate. Okay, so let me quickly show you how I set this thing up. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is go to our website, sourceaudio.net, and download the Neuro Editor, Neuro Desktop Editor, and it's free. So uh, once you get to the website, go to the top bar navigation, support, and then editors and firmware. Then you scroll down and you can download the editor for either Mac or Windows. All right, so I've got my Neuro Desktop connected to my Spectrum Intelligent Filter. So you can see by this little blue box up here, it says Spectrum Filter. And this is where I map uh, my MIDI messages, MIDI CC messages, to specific parameters. I should quickly mention that if you want to change which MIDI channel this pedal responds to, you need to click this gear icon up here to open the hardware options window, uh, hit the MIDI channel drop down, and select your MIDI channel. Now keep in mind that every MIDI controller is a little different, so this is not a demo for how to um, assign MIDI CC messages uh, with every single MIDI controller that's out there. Uh, in this particular demo, I'm using our Soulman MIDI controller. But that said, when you map MIDI CC messages to specific parameters, that can only be done here in the Neuro Desktop Editor. And to do that, I need to go up to the top bar navigation, hit Device, and then hit Edit Device MIDI Map. This opens my Spectrum Filter MIDI Map Editor. Uh, and you can see over here, I've got all my CC messages lined up 0 to 127 on the left side. Um, and over here on the right, this is where I'm going to assign specific parameters to a CC message. So you might remember that the first foot switch was assigned to the LFO rate. So I just have to hit this drop down menu over here, and I'm going to scroll down, scroll way down, till we get to LFO speed. And I select that. Now you can see MIDI CC message number one is assigned to the LFO rate, or speed. And I'm just gonna go, keep going. Uh, the second foot switch I had assigned to the level of voice three. That was my uh, octave down voice. And then the octave up voice was in voice four. So I'm gonna assign voice four level to CC number three. And finally, CC number four, I assigned that to uh, enable and bypass so I can turn the effect on and off. So that is how you map CC numbers to specific parameters. As I mentioned before, the process of using those CC messages to change parameters on the fly is, is different for every brand of MIDI controller, so it's just not possible for me to cover all of that. But if you want to learn how to use our own Source Audio Soulman MIDI foot switch to make changes with MIDI, uh, I left a link to an instructional video in the uh, description of this video. All right, so that is the Source Audio MIDI adapter. I'm sorry if I didn't hit on everything that you can do with MIDI in our pedals. I mean, it, it, the list kind of goes on forever. If you have any questions, you can email us at contact at sourceaudio.net, and we're happy to help you out with any questions you have. So again, thank you, and bye-bye.